Hi there and welcome back my friends uh, to the kingdom of Northeriki where we have great battles against the leader of the Lapish Revolt, Orke, our cousin and former king of Finland. And what we're doing is we need to <clears throat> occupy everything that is occupied by Hrane of Jamtland, who is a revolt inside the revolt of <laughs> Arcus Lapish Revolt. So we need to defeat Frana as well, and we need to take all of his all of these occupations, otherwise we won't get a realm back, and so we'll do that. Because we need to do what is necessary. During the last few days, my daughter Linda has been clutching at her stomach and made frequent visits to the Privy. I've now been informed that she's suffering from dysentery. <gasps> my goodness. Ooh, she's got a mild illness, thankfully, and excellent symptom treatment. Still, call for my court physician at once. She's also ugly. <sighs> oh, she's got a successful treatment. It's great to hear. I mean, we're getting this probably um, through some envoy that is uh, going through this war. And um, so we're here. Frederick's army is moving to Angermanland. Move to Norderick here to plan our next steps, basically. They're all but beaten. We have to be very careful. Gandalf needs a focus. Oh, nice. First son. Oldest son. He could become a diplomat or a steward. I mean, but, I mean, he's a man, so we'll give him a diplomatic education rather than the stewardship, because that was something that was often uh, brought to women in the Norse culture. They were staying at home and also managing that home very well. Our mother has died a natural death. Oh, mother should have seen our victory. Mother. Need to follow that army around. That army as well. They're moving to Helsingland now. Is that here? Or where is that? Here's Helsingland, yes. And then let's move forward here. To maybe get them somehow. Oh, wait. These guys are moving to Lapland. They're moving to Westerbotten now. We need to catch them as we can. Ah, we've won that. It's occupied by us. Move to Finnmark. Thorbjorn has made an alliance with Gare Red Cheeks. Nice. And you're in the middle of a heated discussion with Eirik, your bothersome courtier. You feel the berserker rage rising within you as Eirik continues to babble about trivial concerns. You bite down hard on the wooden table and begin to froth at the mouth. Soon your vision turns red as the familiar bloodlust is roused from its slumber. Must control rage! So that is going on here and we are... Servants hurry towards your throne room to see what the commotion is about. The doors fly open and Eirik tumbles out with torn clothes, several missing teeth and a face covered in bruises. He runs away in mad panic as you struggle to calm down. Oh, that poor man. I probably shouldn't have done that. But we went berserk. Out of control.
Troll. That army of Frederick needs to go. Why? Huh? What is going on here? Why can't they move over here and we can do nothing? What is this? Let's see. Um, can we split our army a bit? Can take the Lapland tribe here. And that one. Keep the Nidoros tribe and lead that ourselves and select that unit. And bring it over here. And the king will. Patrol the lands of Nidoros. Uh, now! Huh? <laughs> what happened? What the hell happened? Fate smiles upon me. Our co concubine, she's probably coming with us, is pregnant. But she has a great pox. <sighs> Ah, we should set her aside in the future as well. Victory! Nice. So that army is going away. Mm, we're patrolling around here. A split army. Finnmark tribe is going well. There's another army here. Ugh. Where's that now? The Catalian Peasant Revolt. My goodness. Revolts inside of revolts. That's... I don't know. army here with Toki and maybe we need to go back to take care of that peasant revolt. Finnmark tribe we got here. Now we gotta go back. Take care of whatever is going on here. Go, go, go. Mart over here, your mart over here. To take the lands of Krane. I mean, Frederick is moving into Herjedal, of course, yes. Anything occupied by Krane? Not anymore at the moment, but who knows? We can make this a little faster. There's that other Icelandic army we need to take care of. Oh, they, they lost something. What did they lose? Uh, we can enforce demands now. No. Yeah. We need to take care of the revolts inside the revolts first. My god, these guys are bleeding out. The defeat in Kem, of course. It's possible to rank up in our society now. Should we do that? Yeah, let's rank up to warrior. Murder these people. 
There's... Hi there and welcome my friends to the kingdom of Norderiki. Ah, we have lost an area to Swiftyot. Ah, our mortal enemy. Still though, we have gained control back. And we have a chance, I'd say. A certain chance, because we can hold a great blot. And who knows, maybe, maybe just the right prisoners might die. Both Hilder. We don't need her. We can we can recruit her or we can uh, release her. No one wants her. Let's release her. We don't want to recruit her. She can go back to Kettle the Vengeful. For all that we know. Then uh, we have this Jedward, our cousin. He's been imprisoned for so long. And he's, in theory, a good man. Even though he's title claimant and ambitious. I cannot ransom him, though. He'll be co controlled by our, well, our good friend, Adral Alpha of Osterbottom. So we can just, I don't know, we'll release him from prison. Jedward. And he's okay with this. A man broken by by prison. And we've got Kraka here. That's her husband. We can even release her from prison as well. That would be okay, probably. Then we have Radegund. Mm, and she yeah we don't we don't need her in here and that's the wife of Orke actually but uh, she's not to blame for him so we can release her as well yeah we're such a merciful ruler aren't we we've got Jal Stein of Finnmark we really hate him but there's things beyond this, and because of this, yeah, because of, we are patient, we are patient. Jostein doesn't hate us, and he will bring us some money, probably. He can afford to buy himself out, the Jarl of Finnmark here. As you can see, his heir will be... Our cousin, the Marshal of Kola. He shall buy himself out. It's okay. It's it's really okay. Then we have Ulf Hilde, Alfer's dot here. She's possessed, but yeah, okay. I mean, I think she was plotting against us. We will release her. We just have to be watchful. She likes us now. And then, then there's something else. We've seen that Gorli, our concubine, as much as we really like her and she is born as a great son, she has the great pox. We've heard about this, so we have to stop seeing her. Because she looks odd and she speaks odd. She's kind of sick and... Yeah, we'll send the court physician to her, but... That's about all. Could we take another concubine? That's the question. Our seeress, maybe. <laughs> no. <clears throat> no, no, no. Um, that's probably not the right time. But it is the right time to start the Great Blot. Let's see, when can we start the Great Blot? Hold the Great Blot. Greater or equal to November, less than March. It will be expensive, but it is worth it. Kinswoman Björg keeps asking you to press her claim on Metalpad for the glory of our dynasty. On Jarl's worker, the vice. Björg. 
Hmm. The problem is metal putt in is in here. And we're patient. That must wait, I think, because King Cyprian of Swiviot has a lot more potential vassal troops, so we'll refuse such outrageous demands for now. And we'll see who is in our prison now. Has Stain already paid? Dalbragi the Gentle is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon, asking for more suitable accommodations. Um, <laughs> actually, suitable. How about the Oubliette? Peace be with you. I accept paying your ransom for the safe return of Jarl Stain. So Stain is ready. And now... It comes to pass that we will hold a great blot. You have sent out summons to all of your vassals for the blot. Those that have been baptized or profess to follow the teachings of the Prophet will have to offer gold to be exempted from this magnificent feast. I can hardly wait. Aspion, your vassal is stubborn in his ways and speaks only of the mercy of the Blessed Virgin. What? It is wisely decided to offer you some gold to be exempted from blot, as well he should. Huh? As well he should. I mean, he likes us a lot, so we will probably spare him. We, we kind of like him too. So there we go. Let's start the blot, right? The guests have arrived, and the time has come for the blot to begin. Gather outside the temple and start by offering animals as sacrifice to the gods. While their meat is prepared for the feast that is to follow, the blood is sprinkled on statues of Odin, Thor, Freya and the other gods, as well as on the worshippers themselves. Now for the human sacrifice. Orca is brought from your dungeons by the guards and placed at the gallows in front of the temple. As they place the noose around his neck, Orca cries out to you, Don't do this, Toki, we are family and of the same blood. Well, you try to murder me. Yes, and that only proves my devotion to Odin. This man. Yeah, he's done enough. Jal Bragi II is brought up from your dungeons and is courted to the temple. When he sees the dangling noose about to be placed around his neck, he pushes the nearest guards aside and makes a desperate run for it, but to no avail. Your man drag him, kicking and screaming back to the temple. Yeah, I'm getting Skyrim vibes. All Father, we offer you this sacrifice. High Chief Hawker is brought from your dungeons by the guards and placed at the gallows in front of the temple. As they place the noose around his neck, Hawker cries out to you, Don't do this, Toki. We're family and of the same blood. Well, you did betray me highly. That only proves my devotion to Odin. My kinsman Thorfinn has chosen independence from my rule. What? Thorfinn of Westerbottom? Chiefdom of Kemi from High Chief Hokor the Brute. And now we have Westerbottom here. Or what? Um, sacrifice over the feast at the end of the blot can now begin. Meat of the animals that were sacrificed has already been prepared and there's plenty of meat to go around. A lot more powerful now and let's see about Freer of Cola. The chief of Cola is in here. We revoke his title. Uh, theoretically, yes.
and don't have a claim though. So let the celebrations begin. There's something to it though. Freyr. Mm. Frederick, our vassal and not of our kin. Can we execute him? That would be viewed as tyrannical. We'll just let him be here. Because we are his heir and he will not get any heirs. We are his educator, even. Oh, because he's at our court. Hmm. Do we have... Don't we have a... We have a court eunuch? Snorri. The old man Snorri. Yeah, why not? We need a law speaker. We need a court... We have a court tutor. Okay. We need a new Merkis mother. And why not... Give Gilla something to do. You do new herdman, and why not give Gear that job? He has been ex exemplary, useful. Let the celebrations begin. And. The question is what happens if we... Can we banish him? Hmm. But at least wait to ransom him. We could revoke a title, since Jarl Frederick is a traitor, our vassals will not object. Oh nice, okay. Yeah, we'll revoke the Jaldom of Finland from him. So he's now Frederick of Finland. He hasn't got anything though anymore. Except the chiefdom of Finland, we can revoke this title as well, but that would be tyrannical. Okay, the one Jarl less. Let's see when we move out of Westerbottom. Here. A strong claim duel against Thorfinn. Winning grants you the titles and vassals along with it. You can choose to challenge him to a deadly duel and offer him a vassalization. Yes, that's good. Will you become our vassal? And he does. And that's good. Northerricky feels so much more complete right now. What is that? A Catholic uprising. The army of Peko. We need to fight this. That cannot go on. That Catholic uprising here. I mean, it's not our job, though. Screaming arrows. You receive a report on the outcome of the military experiments that your marshal asked you to sponsor. Apparently a new kind of self-propelled arrow was tried out based on Far Eastern models. Lit by fire, these arrows would scream and fly away, leaving a trail of smoke, and then explode on impact, killing several of the livestock used as practice targets, though of dubious accuracy and prone to failure in rainy weather. These experiments have still provided some valuable lesson. Excellent. And, uh... Yeah, we are, we are far beyond. Feast is over, and with it the blot. It will be at least nine years until you hold the next one, but as your vessels return home, most seem to agree 
the ceremony was well worth the trip. Until next time. And we're rich and much more powerful now. We need to look for a chance. I mean, Cyprian. is winning against High Note, losing against Peko of the Catholic Uprising. And so that's not our problem, but it could become our problem when that army moves to our lands. Anyways, we'll move over to Nenezia. And see if we can do something there. I will only move here. Uh, can we move this way and then over here? No. Okay, then let's move over here. Haha, -ha, he loves last longest finally that crazed lunatic Jal Bragi the second has left this fine earth well everything will definitely be better without him I have a lot of extra time on my hands now the enemy of my enemy is my friend bond over the death of Jal Bragi with his other old enemy Ingrid Ingrid of Scully's host okay <laughs> the leader of Scully's host okay I'm glad Bragi's gone but it sure we get boring without him the court chaplain of Middlesex. Oh! The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yeah, let's do that. We need some friends. Can we invite her to court? Ingrid of Scully's host? Together with Scully! <laughs> She come over. Nice. <laughs> Ingrid Fraser's dot here. Uh, and let's see. Chem tribe, Kimi tribe, Lapland. Go away. Raiders of Riffle. Lead the troops personally. They're really rich now, too. That shall be used for more war. The proud King Toki. Staying idle is not in a warrior's blood. I hence invite you to aid me against my enemies. Huh? Emir Said. Eastmond of Catholic Uprising in the Yorkist Catholic Revolt. Um, promise to put in a good word for you at the lodge based on your participation in the war. Aha. Eastmond of Catholic Uprising. I don't know. Will we join him in his defensive wars? I think we should. Oh, look at that. That's really, really dangerous. Gladly accept. May my weapon taste the blood of your enemies. Now, is that Edmund or something? Benoit of Normandy has usurped the title County of Mortain. What? Rikissa has died. Oh no. We need a new seer. And who could, could do that better than our queen? Very nice. Very nice. Our wife will do that. She's, she's the one. She's a mastermind theologian, too. 
Shall we proselytize? We don't need to, so we'll not. Um, build a zeal. Dry salads. Mm, improve religious relations. Hunt apostates. Mm. Mm. She's not diplomatic, though. She could build a seal. I mean, we're a warrior king after all. Let's go. Hrodgar has arrived at our court. Who is Hrodgar? The mystic. Paranoid mystic and Skuli Arnbjörnsson. A club-footed, ambitious, learned man. Adventurer too. They're moving to Nieland. There's a Swedish army coming in too. Look at that. Ooh, that is not beautiful. Maybe we'll really send send over a troop. Raumer's dull. Riffle Gerson was captured in battle. He's now my prisoners. Um Yeah, he'll make a suitable sacrifice to Odin. They're moving away, okay, okay. What, 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 what? Who has inherited what? Hrodulf of Satakunta has inherited the chiefdom of Satakunta from Bjorn of Satakunta. Our cousin here. Could revoke his title. Because we've got a claim on it. What pacts does he have? No pacts. Bit generous. Uh, he's a member of the Wolf Warriors as well, I think. Would that be good or bad? I, I think we we have we could use him. That's the thing. Queen Gunhild of Nordriki is the leader of a plot. My good wife, what are you planning? Kiltike Jeverson. You can do that all you want. Arnbjorn wants to fabricate a claim on Jarl Steins. We're backing that. For some reason. Hmm. They're starting to beat that. Oh, that's good. Karushi the Tormentor. Well, let's disband that unit. Could now declare a war against King Karuchi the Tormentor. And why not for subjugation? 
That will not work. Oh, there's no glory in this war. Come on. No glory, really? Yeah, we could declare a war on this guy, but... Cannot subjugate him. We could declare a war on Swiftyard, but we would have no chance. Ah, so many glory hounds. It's terrible. Look, that would be so good. I think we have to bribe someone into this. It would be the best to have Nanetsia. Thorbjorn the Cleansing Flame. Our wife, she's a glory hound. Uh, can you support us? Good queen. I mean, come on. I'll support you in the council. And this means <laughs> we can start that war for a subjugation. Woo! In the next episode. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Emmanuel Khan signing out. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming.